Poppin' Fools, it's your boy Mark the Shark, and we are here with episode number 15. Feels like just yesterday we started this series, but episode 15 of Borrow You Squad Road to Glory, and today we have a rather large episode, or at least it should be a rather large episode if I don't have technical difficulties like in the last episode. And it should bring us four games, Bolton Wanderers, Watford in the Carabao Cup, Stevenage, and Accrington Stanley in the Papa John's Trophy, or the EFL Trophy, whatever the licensing is now. It used to be the Johnston's Paint Trophy, now it's the Papa John's Trophy, I don't know. But we will kick it off first with a league game here against Bolton Wanderers. So let's get simulated forward and get to that game. But um, just to say now, um, I'm going to go ahead and try something new with this episode. I don't think I'm going to include the background music during gameplay and whatnot. So hopefully that will make everything sound nice and pretty. Um... A little bit more of my voice, unfortunately, so I'm sorry to anyone that doesn't enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try something new, just to just to see what I can do, make, make the episode sound a little nicer, and just make everything cleaner, you know? So, um, real quick notification, jo Rasmus Jordan has been loaned out to Trenmere Rovers for two years, so hopefully he has a good time out there. And that removes a right back from our system, which is all right. But game number one of the episode, League 2 action here against Bolton. So let's get loaded up. Oh, I'll catch on a little bit after I fix this sub, make some substitutions. All right, back now. We made a couple substitutions to the starting 11, but we are here at Holker Street taking on Bolton Wanderers. They're in fourth. We are like one point behind them, so a win here can skyrocket us, and that's what we need. A big, big three points here is definitely necessary from the boys, so hopefully we can pick it up here. But first, let's go ahead and check this starting 11 out. We have Alexander Launate, Colm Garvey gets a run out up top, and Ian Buckley as the front three. Ashbourne Bream. Gregor Muller and Barry Smith start in the midfield three. And Adorante, Bond, Sigur Jornsson, and Malcolm Edgar takes over over the right-hand side with Kai Phoenix in the net. But hold on. I noticed that Malcolm Edgar's captaining the side, and that's not what we're going to do. So, one moment. All right, much better now. Game number one of the episode. Let's get straight to it. Come on, boys. All right, game number one of the episode. Borrow takes on Bolton. Let's get a fast start from the boys. Come on now. Daniel Bowen putting on some nice pressure. Calmly, that's a ball in. Kai Phoenix down quickly. Nicely done, son. That's a good save. Oh, nice. Alexander Laune picks it off from the defender. Can he get something going now? Laune looking inside. Gregor Muller. Colm Garvey. Going to go all the way out wide. Malcolm Edgar. Can he put a ball in? He does. Buckley. Oh, gets a diving header and maybe should have gone for the volley instead. Or maybe even taken it down. He had some time. I thought he was going to be under pressure immensely, but probably could have taken on the volley instead. Bond got a touch, but doesn't win the ball. Sega Jornsson does, though. Nicely done, son. Barry Smith. Looking out wide, Ian Buckley. Stay strong, Colm. That's a ball through. Briam, finish, please. Thank you. That's 1-0. That's the start that we need, boys. Nicely done. Strong defensively and strong going forward. Finally get our reward. 1-0. Come on, boys. What a way to start this one. A nice turn there from Colm and a very easy pass. And just smash it home. Simple as that. 1-0. That's Bream's third goal in the year. Nicely done, son. 1-0. Here come Bolton. They have a very strong tack. How did I miss that tackle? How did I miss that tackle? Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? I'm throwing the game for some reason. 1-1. Bolton get their equalizer. 
Bond goes with the left foot instead of his right. He definitely wins that ball. But 1-1 one, one right before the half. Come on, boys. Out wide. Adorante. It's probably a little late. That's out of play. And that's going to take it to half time. That's 1-1 one, one to start the first half of game number one. It was a good half. It was a really good half. We got to we gotta be a little bit stronger with our tackles. But other than that, I mean... Everything's actually been really, really good from the boys. So I'm looking forward to the second half. Let's go make it strong. Second half starting up now here at Hulker Street. Let's get that winner, boys. Come on now. But three changes for the boys. Kevin Albega and Elliot are on four. Barry Smith, Ian Buckley, and Colm Garvey. Just need a little bit more fire up front. So hopefully these guys can bring it. Yeah, take that run. Eric Bega. Charging down the wing. Can he get the best of Baptist? Oh, come on, son. You got to strike that a little bit better. That has to be a clean hit on the pass. He passes that inside to Bream. I think we're in for a goal. Delaney charging down the wing now for Bolton. Goes inside. Darcy. Inside, calmly. That's a goal for Bolton right at the death. We got, we got sloppy in the attack, and then the defense is caught out because everyone's expecting us to do well. Bega plays a bad ball, and Baptist just sends it forward, and through come Bolton. It's just unlucky. Adorante's caught on the wrong side of his man, calmly strikes it first time. And it's in the back of the net. It's static. It's stagnant from the guys up front. So what are they? What is the defense supposed to do if there's no, no movement up front? There's no attack. That's why. And that's going to be the game. Bolton two, Barrow one. It's disappointing from the boys. I don't understand how we go from being so driven in the last two games to just not in this one just wasn't a good showing from the boys at all so hopefully we can find something more in the next game against Watford yeah two shots and one on target it, there's nothing going forward right now so hopefully we find it in the second game well nothing like a midweek game against a Premier League side we take a trip to Vicarage Road now and we need a big performance from the boys. I'm going to make a couple substitutions to the bench. Just going to take Muller and put him on the bench just for now to start the game. And I think I'm going to start Michael Speak over Daniel Bond for now. Just, just for this game. See if that will change up the defensive work there. But it's a big one. We're away from home against Elton John's favorite team. Watford host Barrow in the Carabao Cup round two. Our starting lineup is Alexander Laune, Ezra Elliott, and Ian Buckley up front. Briam, McQuillan, and Kavanaugh partner together in the midfield three. Adorante, Speak, Sigurd Jornsson, and Tonye in the back line of defense. And Kai Phoenix in the net. Come on, boys. We need a win and a win badly. This would be the... Gain, the career mode defining win so far if we can beat Wofford away from home. So let's go and do it. Come on, boys. It's the second round and we're already playing a Premier League team. This is not what I signed up for. That's for sure. I did not sign up for this one. All right. Simple game plan here for the boys in blue. Let's strike first and let's strike fast. Watford and Barrow start now. Come on, boys. We just have to be disruptive. That's what we have to do. If we can be disruptive, we're going to be solid. As long as we're not disruptive to ourselves. Parika inside. Pusetto, nice block, Michael. Gakia out wide off of the block. That's a tackle and a half from McQuillan. Laune inside for Briam. Can we get something going? We just might. Briam 
Sends Ezra Elliott through. Oh, Foster with a nice save. Ezra Elliott again, though. Gets his own rebound, and it's 1-0 to borrow. That's what we needed, boys. We strike first, and we strike fast. Come on. Puts us in the driver's seat here. That's a ball and a half. I thought Ezra was going to finish it on the first one, but he doesn't. He takes his own cherries off of the crop and finishes the rebound. Beautiful done, son. Way to stay with the ball. Come on, boys. It's 1-0 early on here in Watford. Can we keep this play going? We're going to need some quick, quick defending to get this one out. Messina out wide. Tonye is out to cover. Parika goes inside. Michael Speak with a nice block. Kai, what are you doing, son? It went straight through your legs. Kai! Kai, what are you doing? Michael Speak puts in a perfect block, and somehow it ends up back to Zatowski, or however you say his last name. I need to see what what was... Oh my Kai, throw your foot down, something. It goes straight, look, look, look. It goes straight past his foot. Why is he, he's so flat-footed on his right foot. Throw your foot out, son. 1-1 one, one here. We're gonna need, I knew we were going to need more than one, so let's go get another one. Come on, boys, to let that ball go. And that's halftime, tied at one here at Watford. Here at Vicarage Road. It's been a good showing. That that I will say. It's been a very, very good showing from the boys. But we just need to be a little bit more clinical when going forward. We're, we're getting our chances. And we just have to finish them now. We have to remain calm going forward and calm defensively. And make sure that we are getting to the second ball. So let's get this second half going. Come on, boys. <laughs> second half begins now. Let's go get a win, boys. Come on now. It's there for the taking. Gets the ball clear for us. Elliot going out wide. Alexander Laune, come on, son. Smash this one home, please. Oh, he doesn't even hit that one right. Wait. He just called a handball. I thought it Kong got his foot to it. What just happened? I need to see this. Oh, it did strike his hand. That's a penalty for Barrow. Kavanaugh standing over it. I don't think I want Kavanaugh to take it, though. He's our best PK taker. Adorante. We're going to let, let the left back take it. Adorante for Barrow to make it 2-1. Oh, he's put that home nicely. His first goal for the club. I can't remember his last name. It's some weird Italian la first name. But Adorante slots it home for Barrow, and it's 2-1. to one. Come on, boys. It's probably something simple like Marco, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking it's some weird la first name. That's a class finish, though. So calm. Bottom corner. Mwah. Chef's kiss to the boy, Adorante. Manolo. I, I knew it was something Italian. Manolo Adorante gets his first goal for the club. And it is 2-1 here in Vicarage Road. A nice penalty taken by Manolo Adorante. I'm going to remember that forever now. 2-1. Come on, boys. Oh, I thought Ian stayed out wide. Offsides. What off, what off, what off. Pusetto almost got one back for Watford, but he was offsides. <laughs> Nicely done there from the boys to step forward all at once. Oh, at the same time. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what I call holding a press. Seralta, they're sending players forward. Seralta's the center back. Pusetto, Navarro, Doa Pedro. Pusetto looking for an option. No shots. Nice block, Tonye. Away. Idrissa Sar is on. Get the ball out. Get the ball out. Get the ball out. Nice, Michael. Why is there so much added time? Sar just came on. That's a ball through. Joe Pedro. He's offside. Nice save, though, Kai. Have we done it? 
<laughs> have we just done it? There's no way. Oh, there's no way. We've done it. Oh, come on, boys. We've gone and done it. We pulled off the upset here at Vicarage Road. See you later, Elton John's team. A nice, nice win from the boys. So strong. Such a strong performance. Manolo Adorante gets the game-winning penalty that wins it for us here. Barrow 2, Watford 1. We advance in the Carabao Cup. Please give us an easier draw next round. I don't want to play a Premier League side again. Oh, let's get to the next game. Oh. Okay. When you're putting in performances like Kai Phoenix has, I guess you get some transfer transfer news in, and it's Finn Harps with 490000 for Kai Phoenix. Unfortunately, that's disrespectful. Hell no, baby. Get out of my face, Finn Harps. They are not taking my starting goalkeeper. All right, game number three. Back in the league. We need a win after the disappointing first game against Bolton. We take on Stevenage, who are on the same points as us and one place behind us. So a big, big win needed here so we can jump back into the top half of the table. Starting 11 looks like this. Alexander Laune, Ezra Elliott, and Ian Buckley up front. Briam, Muller, and Kavanaugh partner in the midfield. Iglesias starts for Manolo Adorante, who is completely knackered after that last game. Boan, Malcolm Edgar starts for Sigurd Jornsson, who gets the rest. Tonye and Kai Phoenix is our back line of defense. We take on Stevenage, who play a rather defensive 4-3-3 to our attacking 4-3-3. But let's go break them apart and get a win. Come on, boys. It's a big one here now. Stevenage taking on Barrow. Come on, boys. Let's continue after that big, big win. No, let me not pull Bon out. That's how we get scored on. All right, then. I don't know what Malcolm Edgar is doing, son. That's on you. I don't know what you're putting your hands up for. A finish and a half there, though, from... Whoever that player was, but God, that was such poor defending. That was so bad. What are they doing? Just watching. Malcolm Edgar's just watching. That's poor. Akinwande makes it 1 0 for Stevenage on a very poor mental mistake, miscommunication, really, between Tonye and Malcolm Edgar. All that running just to play the ball back. Can we get a closer mark, son? Get on his back and don't let him turn. I don't know what is going on with our center backs right now, but they just don't want to get close to Akinwande. Second on the day for him, and it's 2-0 Stevenage. Can we just get strong in the defense, boys? That's going to take us to halftime. 2-0, and a absolutely shocking performance from our center backs right now. So, so bad from them. Sigurd Jornsson is the substitution here at halftime. Malcolm Edgar, that was a very poor first half, and I'm not letting it get any worse. So, second half begins. Come on, boys. Ezra Elliott, smash it, son. You're... You are so lucky, Ezra, that I love that you can score. Because these passes today have been shocking. It's a good finish, though. Very nicely done. Struck it hard. Struck it true. It's going to find the back of the net every time. Well, that's one back. Let's go get another one, boys. Come on now. He's got runners. It likes to go for Gregor Muller, but just gets... Take a corner, though. Barrow with the corner kick. Ball is in. Cristobal Iglesias rises. That's in. That's in from Cristobal Iglesias. Si, profe. 
That's nicely done from the Chilean left back. And we are back in this one. Two all. Come on, boys. That's the fight that we needed from the start. Doesn't have to come in the second half. Come on now. Rose up like a salmon in water. And just smashed that one off of Prosser's head. Definitely scuffed that header. 1000% could have still scuffed that header. But you know what? It's alright. It went in. That's what matters. Two all now. Come on, boys. Let's go get the winner. Marsh. Getting inside. Tony is there. It's off sides, ref. How? How is that not off? I mean, it's a great finish, but how is that not off sides, ref? Who kept him on? I need to see who kept him on. Please show me who kept him on side. How? How is he not on sides? Bon and Sigurd Jorgensen both step forward. Kai has to do better on his front post. Come on, son. 3 2 Stevenage here late. And we're going to have to pull something out here. We need the, the three points. 3 M. Oh, come on, Ezra. 3 M. Smash that, son. Smash it, son. I'm holding circles so and you smash it home. Oh, my God. What are these refs doing, man? Oh, yeah. So disappointing. Piss poor from the start. We should have won this game. Stevenage was not better than us. Not They were not three goals better than us. They were not worth scoring three goals at all. Their attack. Defensive was so shocking today. Especially in the first half. I don't know what to do about Malcolm Edgar. Let's get to the next game. Well, we're going to have to shake off that disappointing performance against Stevenage and get ready for an EFL Trophy game here against Accrington Stanley. Five in the back for them and our usual 4-3-3. We do make a couple changes now. Uh, Gregor Muller and Daniel Bond were both tired, so McQuillan and Speak enter the starting lineup for tonight. And Barry Smith takes it for Ajwan Briam, who was also tired. Unfortunately, we don't have a substitution for Tunye. Otherwise, he would be getting a rest as well. But Holker Street is a venue. We need to get a win here to progress in, give us a the best chance possible to progress in this trophy. So... Let's go make it happen. Barrow, Accrington Stanley. Come on, boys. Here we go. Game number four of the episode. It's the Papa John's Trophy or the EFL Trophy, as I would prefer to call it. Barrow and Accrington Stanley underway now. Come on, boys. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do defensively, man. <laughs> In the right positions. Look, I get over nicely with Michael Speak, and the ball still gets through. Granted, I slid past it. I was a little early. Kai's not making the saves that he was making in preseason. I don't know what's going on with him either. Early goal for Accrington, 1-0. Out wide, Parrot is through. It's a free header. Good save, Phoenix. Would have rather you caught that. We had players in the box for that one, too. Tony. Buckley. Smith inside. Laune. Finish it, son. That's a cut and a half. See, son. When you cut in on your right foot, which is your stronger foot, La Alexandra, this is what happens. Can you do that more, please? It's 1-1. One, one. We get a goal back. Nicely done, son. That cut in front of the wing back. So deadly. Can we do that more, please, son? Great finish, though. 1-1. One, one. Let's get another, boys. Come on now. Ezra Elliott. Barry Smith has played him through. Across. Launay again. Yes, son. That's a nice finish there. Once again for Alexandra Launay. 
We get a nice ball down the line to Ian Buckley. Plays it inside Barry Smith. Back to Ezra. Ezra just plays the ball straight to Laune, who is all by himself on the penalty spot. And just finishes it. Nicely done, son. Two goals to one now. Barrow take the lead after going down early on. That's going to take us to half time. We're up two goals to one. Let's get into the second half now and just finish the job. Laune has come to life here. Maybe this is going to be his turnaround. I really hope so, but let's go figure it out. Second half, let's get it. Back now with the second half here at Holker Street. Borrow up two goals to one. Let's go get some more boys and let's finish this. That's a nice ball. Ezra to Barry Smith, but can't finish. Isherwood with a nice save. Out for a corner now. Alexander Laune to whip it in. Oh, that's right on Sigurd Jornsson. Salimos. Kai, come out, Kai. 2-2. Two, two. Atkinson Stanley get a goal after a ball behind the line. It's perfect for Kai to just come out and pick it up. It's at great speed for Kai to get there first, and he just doesn't. Like, what is he doing? He's caught in no man's land. 2-2. Two, two. Kai is showing signs of Cyril all over again. Beat at his front post. Indecisiveness. Where was the Kai Phoenix from the preseason? Where has that Kai Phoenix gone? That Kai Phoenix won the starting job over the original starter. No, ref. No, ref. No, I blocked it with my foot. I blocked it with my foot, ref. What are you calling? I blocked it with my foot. I don't even want to see the replay to see how disgusting that was. Of course. It... Ay, ay, ay. Fell apart. Complete, complete miss. I don't even know what to fucking call it. I don't know what to say. Ezra, stay strong, Ezra. Ezra Elliott, please, son, finish it. Yes, son, that's power. Back again, 3-3. Three, three. There's a great faint run from the boys. What are they doing? What are they doing there with that celebration? Come on, though. We can't be having to deal with this 3-3 three, three it is here against Accrington Stanley I don't like this at all I absolutely despise this performance as good as the attack is playing I'm not fond of this performance at all nice Kai see that's the Kai Phoenix I know making those types of saves where is that all the time, though? It needs to be consistent. Can we get one last chance? Ezra Elliott's making the run. Ball in. Oh, oh he's got a penalty. It's a last-minute penalty. Nottingham's taking it down on his chest, and it's hit his hand. I think the keeper put it onto his hand, actually, because the keeper was coming to collect, and Nottingham took it down. Let's see this. Oh, he's hit his chin and then hit his hand on the Barry Smith challenge. I have to go Adorante here. Adorante is our best PK taker stats-wise. Going left like he did against Watford. And it's in. It's in. There it is, son. Last-minute drama here in the Papa John's trophy. Manolo Adorante. Puts home a penalty. And it's 4-3. With the dying embers of the game. Isherwood gets sent the wrong way. And Manolo Adorante. Proving to be clinical on these PKs. I don't know man. Might have to become the all time taker. Kavanaugh's time at PK taker might just be up. But it's alright. What a finish son. 4-3 here in the depths of the game. 
Please blow your whistle, referee. End this one. Ball is out of play. It is Barrow Ball. Let's let him see out the last of this game. And that's it. Three points here in the Papa John's Trophy because they have redone the system where it's a group stage and then the knockouts. Oh, my Lord. Even though we won, and I'm happy that we have won, I need to fix the defense. The defensive line was so poor in these last two games. So, so poor in the last two games. So, onto the drawing board we go. But it's the end of the episode. So we'll save that for in between episodes and in the next one. So let's get to seeing what is up for us now. Yeah, they had five shots and three went in. I mean, it's just got to be better. Uh, even though some one of their goals was worth it. One of their goals, they well, they worked well. But the penalty shouldn't have happened. And then one and one of the goals that they scored, Kai Phoenix definitely should have gotten a hand too. But let's get moving to the end. All right. So it is deadline day, but obviously I don't see us sending anyone out or bringing anyone in. But let's have one more quick look at the thing here. Farouk Bockhorn, 57 overall. He'd be a nice midfield help for Barry Smith and McQuillan as well. Um, you know what? Let's make the offer. Let's approach to sign Farouk Bockhorn. Disregard the release clause. All right. So then, Farouk Bockhorn will be joining for free from the free agents. Let's get him into the club. Welcome, Farouk. And... That is another midfielder added to the ranks. So now we have three starters and three backups. So now everyone gets rest. But that will be all for this episode now. there I won't, I'm not going to advance through uh, deadline day. I don't see anyone else leaving or coming in. But if it if it does happen, it'll happen in the it'll be added to the next episode. So thank you all for watching episode 15 of Borrow U Squad Road to Glory. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as we saw some great fight from the boys through and through, even though some of our stuff going on with the defense was not all that great today. So hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Turn on post notifications if you haven't already. And um, let me know how you guys are enjoying this down in the comments section below. Please share this with your friends. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you all next time. Peace.